Israel prepares for a long war inside of Gaza, while the borders with Lebanon and Syria heat up and fire is exchanged there. At the same time, a lot of additional crimes and a lot of details about the crimes from the 7th of October become public and we'll talk about this in this situational picture. The Israeli defense minister told, according to media reports, that all restrictions in fighting the Hamas are being lifted. What exactly that means, especially to the rules of war or the rules according to acting with crime organizations is obviously unknown. We'll have to observe it while it's happening. At the same time, it's being said that Israel contacted Egypt to tell them to, to expect a month-long war for several months inside of Gaza. As I said in the last video, the likelihood of Israel entering the Gaza Strip is almost certain and that will take a long, long time as they can expect dense urban fighting in a, against a well-prepared opponent. The US are currently thinking about sending an additional aircraft carrier into the region, showing their support for Israel and trying to deter any involvement by Hezbollah and Iran. And Hezbollah has opened fire again on Israeli troops. There was report that Hezbollah tried to destroy an Israeli Merkava tank with ATGMs, with anti-tank guided missiles, and the Israeli armed forces reacted with a combat helicopter taking out the positions from which it was fired upon. On the Syrian border, the Golan Heights, the situation also heated up. According to reports, several shells were fired from the Syrian side. According to what I found, it was mortar fire, and the majority of it actually still impacted on the Syrian side, but at least one shell hit the, hit the Israeli side. The Israeli side, the Israelis responded with counter-battery fire, and no more details about this here. By now, the the um, locations where the Hamas terrorists slaughtered people are increasingly being uh, discovered and uh, shown to the public, to the media. Overall, the death toll has crossed 1,000 persons, the vast majority of it civilians. There are reports about uh, women and children having been burned alive. Supposedly, there's a video from it, but I have to openly admit here that while I have less of a problem watching videos of combat, even if it includes death, and that I don't have that much of a, of a problem seeing pictures, I do not want to burden myself with listening to people die and screaming inside of a fire so i have not confirmed whether that is true there are some pictures being handed around that show burned corpses so it's probably showing this but to what degree this report is actually true i cannot confirm there's also a report that in one kibbutz alone 40 babies were being killed there are claims that some of them have been beheaded i tried to find proof of this as again there is supposedly a video showing one one-year-old baby being beheaded in um uh, on the video i have not seen that video again but uh, in this record in this regard it supposedly showed a lot of babies being beheaded i checked for pictures and i did not find any so it might be wrong or there i can i simply cannot confirm that this actually happened at that kibbutz especially as i found a journalist claiming that 40 of them had um, been killed this way obviously it does not make much of a difference how they are killed and what is done to them after their death but to but to me at least in my naive way of looking at things it's still a level higher whether you just kill people or whether you cut off their heads in the end as well as said um, i do I am able to confirm that there have been beheadings. I've seen pictures of Israeli soldiers or the corpses of them that are missing, who are missing their heads. But whether it was done to newborns, to babies, I cannot confirm in this way. There are also reports about uh, among the corpses, they found a woman being killed with her belly being cut open and a fetus next to her still connected with her with the umbilical cord. Again, no picture from my side to be able to confirm this. Overall, though, the situation is increasingly heating up and more and more crimes are being being published. And that is now the time for this famous Pallywood to enter the scene. So let's talk about this here as well. Pallywood is a um, 
a, a nickname for media that is uh, for for pa Palestinian controlled media that you will encounter a lot in the future just to have it run here in the background and please pay attention to what you're seeing here this clearly shows the rubble inside of Gaza where Israeli airstrikes have hit now just to make it utterly clear um, the fact that you cheer to the crimes that Hamas has committed makes you a horrible person an absolutely disgusting person but that does not mean you deserve death israel is not legally entitled to kill everyone who has cheered hamas uh, there are innocent people inside of gaza dying in every airstrike or in many airstrikes right now there are innocent people dying i do not want to put to to sweep this under the carpet to deny it or anything like this and i do not say that everyone cheering the crimes the the unspeakable crimes of hamas deserves to die even though we see the the cheering crowds all over the arab world and as well as in the western world among certain groups as well i'm pretty sure in the country wherever you watch from you've also seen the cheering for what has happened but what i wanted to show you here is what we need to remember when it's when we are talking about the gaza strip that it's fully under control of hamas that includes the pictures we are receiving pallywood is a nickname for what is happening there that they manipulate pictures and they are good at it and maybe you've seen what i want to show you here and that is a teddy and a toy lying right in front of the man who dramatically looks to the front and then slowly turns this, his head towards the camera. This is not a coincidence. It's a clearly staged picture, as you can see here, where he has both still with him. Uh, we see that it was clearly placed there, as it is extremely unlikely that it's on top of the rubble without any serious amount of dust, and it wouldn't be the first time. You will see a lot of these pictures in the coming weeks and months, as Hamas clearly plays the information war game, tries to manipulate the public to get emotional about a topic or even more emotional about a topic and thus increasing the pressure on Israel to stop before Hamas is finished off. Again, I want to reiterate that does not mean that innocents aren't dying. That does not mean that pictures of dead children necessarily are fake. There are probably babies dying and or there are babies dying and and we some of the videos will definitely be authentic, but Hamas creates a lot of these videos with a certain purpose and with uh, by manipulating the scenery to create a bigger effect this needs to be kept into account this needs to be kept into account i think is the phrase so you need to take it for to account that this is being done to manipulate you and uh, read the pictures accordingly but that's it for me for now we will on this channel not only um observe the conflict in Ukraine, but obviously also the conflict here in Israel that is continuing. If you like to see future reports, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and please hit the thumbs up if you like this video, despite the horrific topic, because it really helps with the algorithm uh, to show YouTube that you like this. Uh, leave a comment. What do you think the, the result will be and what Israel will do with Gaza Strip after they've taken it? That can also be very interesting in this this, ch this channel is only possible because of the support of viewers like you. If you like to support the channel, you can do so by the means in the description. Thank you very much to everyone already supporting this channel. And that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back.